Latest traffic stop data show Charlotte Mecklenburg police continue to stop, search and arrest black men far more often than their white counterparts. The defenders Nate Morbido analyzed CMPD traffic stop records from 2019 through May of this year and found the city's black population remains disproportionately impacted. For black men in particular, they've lived this reality for years and experts tell us the latest numbers show driving continues to put black Americans at an unfair disadvantage. I've been pulled over and I've actually been followed to my front doorstep. We've heard the stories time after time from people like Charlotte Army veteran Michael Booker. It's uncomfortable. I have uh, three young children. It's hard to explain to them why things are the way they are. But there's more than just anecdotal evidence. CMPD records show black men account for a third of all traffic stops, much higher than white men. Of the black men stopped, police searched 10% of them, compared to just 3% of the white men they pulled over. And black men make up 62% of all people arrested during traffic stops, not even close to the 18% of white men arrested. I think this data is incredibly uh, important. Wake Forest law professor Cami Chavis believes the data should prompt action. We need to begin to minimize contact between uh, law enforcement officers and minority communities. We're kind of making criminals by increasing the, these contexts. Frank Baumgartner is known for his research on this very topic. I think there's some kind of a self-reinforcing prophecy. The UNC Chapel Hill political science professor says police overuse traffic laws to stop people for minor offenses. Don't try to use the excuse of a traffic stop to go on a fishing expedition. CMPD data show the most common reason officers pull over black men is for vehicle regulatory issues, like no registration or license. Baumgartner says not only is that a waste of resources, the feeling of unfair treatment alienates members of the black community. We have to ask ourselves, is this pattern of behavior really making our community safer? And uh, is it worth the price? And I think the answer is there's gotta be a better way. Baumgartner sat on a panel alongside Chief Kerr Putney in 2018. We're trying to figure out the why and then the what next. At the time, the chief acknowledged the general disparity, saying since black members of the community account for most of Charlotte's crime victims, more police resources are dedicated to traditionally black neighborhoods. CMPD told me the department's taken steps to minimize random profiling, including requiring officers to report data for every traffic stop, creating a system that allows the public to file racial profiling complaints, requiring the use and review of body cameras, and reinstituting warnings for equipment and regulatory violations, warnings that allow a person to fix a problem within 30 days without receiving a ticket or getting arrested. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.